Hey YouTube. So today, I ain't got a whole lot to do today, but what I had on my mind was I, I got a little garden out here that <clears throat> I planted some tomatoes in. Ground's hard right now. I mean, it's hard as a brick. Um, I'm just going to try to make up some rolls in it because it, it's a wet natured piece. And I'd like to plant a little broccoli in the spring, but <clears throat> what I'm afraid of is, is it's going to be too wet to plant. So what my plan is, is uh, to just make up some rolls in it and it will dry out quicker this spring. Or if I have to, I could use the roll that I made up now if it's too wet to make up rolls this spring. So I'm not going to use my regular disc. Uh, we're going to use these. And hopefully they'll cut into it a little better. And I'm going to make up the rolls with that. I wanted to show you, I was real blessed. One of my subscribers, and there's no need to mention, I'm sure I'm, I'm not going to mention who it was, but one of my subscribers brought me these on plow day. And I, I, I can't thank you enough. I really don't know how to um, even get close to, to subscribing how great of a blessing that was. But anyway, some uh, back pairs, and hopefully within the next few weeks or so, we'll be putting them on the tractor. Now, I do run water in my back tires. Um, I just think it's, I think it makes the tractor do better with water. I, I know it can rust the rim out and stuff like that, but I've always had 140s with water and that's, we'll, we'll put water back in them. And then, of course, the boys bought me some front tires. So we'll be doing both of them over the course of the next couple months. I'm going to take a months. trip to Ag Supply in Raleigh. Um, I don't know, probably next month or two. I, I have to get some, I have some, oh, uh, these right here. These are my five gain cultivators and the bearings are out on them. So I want to get some bearings for these. Um, I have a lot of questions and we'll, we'll show you a little bit of that bedding here in just a little bit. Um, but I have a lot of questions a lot of times on these about the size. I think they got like a 14 inch tine and 16 inch tines. Um, I kind of like the smaller ones on the 140. One reason when you get real tall tines on those rolling cultivators, it's hard for this tractor to lift it up completely off the ground. Not When I say hard, I don't mean as in it doesn't have the strength. It, it's got plenty of hydraulics to pick it up. It's just once you get all the way up with it, they're still touching the ground. That's why I like, if, and I know you guys can't do this, and I, I, I kind of hate even mention it, but that's why I like going in, you know, to one of my buddy's houses and finding some used ones, taking them all apart and just cherry picking me some tines to put together on a new set. That's what I did. That's what I did on these set here. And that was taken apart from other ones. And here's one with, I think, 16 inch tines and I haven't even used it. These are brand new tines. Uh, of course they're rusted and hadn't been used, but you know, brand new bearings in them, but they're just so tall. I, I hadn't been able to really use those at all. So we'll, uh, we'll get this tightened up. And again, thank you for all your support guys and picking up more subscribers. And uh, we got some hastings over here in this trailer. We're gonna get shelled up. I did, I did find out from brother Scott Rayleigh, Rayleigh Farm and Field on YouTube guys. And he's also got hastings for sale right now. I did find out from him. He told me, he said, whatever I'm gonna do, I'm okay till about February or March. But he said, you know, just by virtue of nature, that the weevil worms are already on that corn and they'll start sprouting out, well, I guess when the weather gets a little warmer. Um, but he said, you know, if you're gonna keep some joy, you put, you know, put it in gallon freezer bags and put it in the freezer and freeze it until you get ready to plant it. So I, that was a kind of a learning curve error. I had it in my mind that, hey, I could maybe shell this corn and, and put it in some five gallon buckets and store it in the back of the shed. But he said, no, you can't do that. It, it would be eat up by summertime. So anyway, so he's selling some, Scott Rayleigh, and uh, 
I'm thinking about uh, planting in some bloody butcher corn next year too. So we just got to find find a way, place to plant all that. But I'm gonna get these tightened up. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna tighten these up. I'm gonna get the back feet on, and then we'll uh, we'll go out here and make up a few rolls. Now, again, I don't I don't try to stage my videos, guys. So if I get out here and this ground's hard and it makes a little fur that big, I mean, that's, that, that is what it is, and I mean, that's just part of it, but I just want to try to put it, in, put it in a little bit of a roll before the winter time and it gets wet and stuff. So we'll see you in just a little bit. You know, guys, I forgot I had these sweeps on, and I'm just thinking, I was itching to try a set of these new ones here. I know I said I'm gonna run them for another year, which I am, but I am kind of itching to put this in the dirt here and see what that new one do. What y'all think? I think we'll do that. So we'll come back in a little bit. You know, guys, you don't you don't realize how big these things are until you start putting them on the tractor. And you think, good Lord, what a plow point. But I'll be honest with you, and this is what I expect. Dirt's probably gonna be hard and it's probably gonna get out there, honestly, and really just kinda scrape the top of the ground. Getting a little lazier in my old age. Used to tighten them things up with just for wrenches all the time. <laughs> and uh, I just, I don't know if it's lazier or smarter. So I was thinking maybe, see today's Saturday, next week's Thanksgiving. Uh, might try to do a live, live video, maybe Thanksgiving evening or maybe Friday evening, one or the other, either Friday or Thanksgiving evening. We'll do a live video and just chat a little while. Maybe you guys got some questions and all. Um, but let's take this out there. We'll see what it does. And uh, again, you know, we'll, we'll record something this winter. I know it's not a whole, a whole lot of content, but we'll get these tires off. That's gonna be, I gotta figure out how, well, I do know how we'll do it. I'm actually gonna undo them from the, from the carriage head bolts here and pull the rim off this way. And uh, can't wait to get them new tires on there. That's, that's really a blessing and man, I, I wanna see what it does with that chisel plow. I might even have to let the, let the uh, guide wheels up a little bit on chisel plow. <laughs> no, it, it, the, the traction won't help that horsepower, but it, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I look forward to it and we'll get to, I'll wire brush those front rims real good and paint them red and, uh, and biggest thing this fall, I wanna get this dash done. So hopefully we'll get that dash done and and have her all up and ready. But let's go out here. We'll, we'll see a cold start, Sam. You wanna see a cold start? Yeah. All right, cold start. No choke. <laughs> Killed it. Full choke.
140 is notorious for bucking and kicking until she warms up. So guys, what I, I kind of purposely did here, if you'll notice, all I did, and you can probably see it back on some of the videos, I just cut this with the uh, bog hair once or twice, I don't remember, not much. And then I chisel plowed it. And I put that lime on it. And it's rough, and I just kind of wanted to see uh, what these this would do to, to rough dirt bedding it and it and it's it's doing great realistically the ideal would be good spring weather i'll chisel plow this cut it down and then re-bed it uh but if it's a real wet march or something and i can't make a roll up for a roll of broccoli i'll just use that first roll over and then when it dries out i'll cut the rest but i do see that the angle on this is a little too straight up and down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna angle these feet in this way a little more. Right now, they're just kinda doing that. You put a little angle on it, they'll cut up under that layer a little bit more. So we're gonna angle these feet just a little bit. Something about like that. Oh, I like this one. You can use ratchet wrench on this side. Yeah, we like that. Cool deal. All right, let's uh, let's do a few more rolls, and we'll finish this video out with this.
said goodbye, but I want to show you one thing, guys, on this video. Um, I've always set a standard to myself when I was making rolls up with a 100, 140, when I was making rolls for the Baca. I always, the standard I set, if the bale, which is the bottom of the bell arm, if it's dragging the top of this bed after you've came through and made a roll, then you got yourself a pretty good bed. Just for showing you here, guys, I mean, it, this, the camera really probably doesn't do it justice, but those things really make some big, deep beds. And, it, and, it, and you seen the garden before I started. It was pretty much hard and been chisel plowed over. But there's the beds. I, that'll do what I want it to do. We'll let it set this winter. If the ground's good, I'll cut it all and rebed it but if it's not i'll i can plant broccoli down through here maybe just rake the top off a little bit and uh when it does dry we'll cut the rest and put some green beans and tomatoes over there so this is the little garden i'm gonna try to put a fence around um to keep the deer out i, I ain't had no green beans in two years now for the deer so look forward to seeing y'all guys again and uh doing a live show the Friday after Thanksgiving and then we'll get some tires on the tractor and get some Hastings worked up a little bit and uh, we'll just see you again thanks guys